Hello there, honeybee, and welcome to my garden. In case you didn't read the description, we will be making kombucha. And for those of you who don't know what kombucha is, is it's pretty much a very healthy drink. It's a fermented tea that is made with a scoby, and it is rich in probiotics and enzymes and antioxidants that are so good for your gut. And a lot of one's physical health and mental health actually relies on your gut health because ultimately it's your gut that is absorbing all the nutrients and the flora that live within your intestine whether it's healthy flora if it's happy if it's doing its job and so what this kombucha does is it balances it out and yeah so it can be used as an amazing substitute for all those sugary unhealthy fizzy drinks like coke and sprite and all of that um, yeah, and how we make it is with a SCOBY. So SCOBY is actually an acronym for Symbiotic Culture of Bacteria and Yeast. So that kind of explains what it is. It's a network of bacteria that produce the probiotics that go into the kombucha, which is ultimately what is good for you. So yeah, without further ado, I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get into it. <laughs> you're going to get your jar and make sure to sterilize it well thoroughly with vinegar and hot water you can also swish it around to make sure that you get all the corners that might have bacteria in it next you're going to add one liter of water to the pot to boil before adding your three bags of oolong tea i love using eve's tea and you can just allow that to steep for however long you wish before removing the tea bags, adding your cane sugar and allowing that to dissolve once you've stirred it thoroughly. Now all that's left to do is to wait for it to cool to room temperature before adding that solution to the jar along with the bottle of kombucha. Secure the cheesecloth with a rubber band before setting the jar aside for two weeks in a dark lit space. Try not to fiddle too much as we don't want to allow any unwelcome bacteria into the SCOBY space. Making the actual kombucha is quite similar to how you make a SCOBY, except you use more tea bags, more water, more sugar and you use a starter tea instead of a bottle of kombucha. So yeah, you just brew the tea, add your sugar, and then once you wait for it to reach room temperature, you're going to add it to the jar. You want it to reach room temperature because otherwise the heat can really irritate or even kill your SCOBY. I would recommend first buying a SCOBY from the store so that you have starter tea to add to your kombucha. And then yeah, you're going to wrap a cheesecloth around that and set that aside for 10 days. Don't mind the jar on the left, that is my hotel jar for the scobies that I'm not using to make kombucha. From left to right you can see the first jar is the one that's making the scoby, the second is my brother's little scoby, the third is a hotel for scobies that aren't in use, and the last is the kombucha that's being made. This is what you will see after 10 days. All right, it is 10 days later and we have our lovely kombucha. It's right over here. And I don't know if you can see, but there, over there, is the scoby that we had put in with the tea. And it's made a beautiful new little scoby baby right on top. And then here is our scoby that we made from scratch with that other little brew that we had made. So yeah, that is after 10 days. And what we're going to do is we're going to set aside the scoby to continue growing into a thicker little scoby. And then we're going to now take this kombucha out of the jar and take these two new scobies out and put them into a bowl with a little bit of this uh, kombucha. And then we're going to make a new batch of kombucha.
All right, so we're going to take our baby kombucha, I mean our baby scoby, out of its little jar. And here it is. Oh, how cute. That's a healthy little scoby right there. And then we're going to take out the other scoby that has, this is the mother scoby, I would call it. And we're going to pour just a little bit of that kombucha over it just to keep them hydrated and happy and nourished while we get the other brew brewing. <laughs> Okay, next you're going to form a little contraption like this. It is a sieve with a colander or a strainer, whatever you like to call it. And then you're just going to put it into a jug. Yeah, we put that all together and then we take our kombucha. This is the exciting part. This is what we have been waiting for for 10 whole days. And then we're just going to pour There you have it folks, a healthy, nutritious and delicious probiotic rich juice, fermented tea. Let's refrigerate this. Well first we're going to pour it into little mug things. We're going to refrigerate those and I'll tell you how it tastes. Now that we have emptied this jar, it is time to sterilize it again and then we can add the next batch of brewed tea. The future kombucha. Now it's time to add our scobies. We should actually give them a name. This will be Toby the scoby. Alright. Go shine, do your thing. And then this will be Moby the Scoby. Yay! So cute. Okay, so we're gonna add those into our little jar. And then we're gonna take our starter tea, which we set aside from the kombucha that we had already made and it's in the fridge. And we're just gonna pour that into the jar. Then you wrap it up in a little cheesecloth and voila! You have the next generation of kombucha. and I've actually been taking multiple sips out of this for the past two days. Um, while I was refrigerating it, I did put chunks of lemon in, as you can see, the lemon rind, and a slice of ginger just to flavor it and to allow it to also ferment just a little bit more in the fridge and get a bit more bubbly. And guys, I am very impressed and very proud of my scobies for making such beautiful kombucha. And I will be making a lot more of this. Very easy, very fun. You can even make a family thing out of it because my family really enjoyed watching and participating. My brother also made a tiny little scoby. Um, yeah, and they also are big fans of this kombucha stuff. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and if you're also keen to make some kombucha. And let me know in the comments below of the fruits that you like to use to flavor your kombucha. I'd really love to hear about it. Ciao for now.